Hey guys, this week on the Awesome Cast, AJ joins us in the studio. Chill is back again with some blue teeth devices. Uh, we talk about Google Glass, other fun tech, uh, and we electrocute people with an arm device of sorts. All that, a lot more. Awesome Cast. This edition of Awesome Cast is brought to you by PittsburghOnVideo.org. Check out the best videos from Pittsburgh all in one place. PittsburghOnVideo.org. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said now. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, guys, it's the time of the week where we get nerdy, we get geeky. It's time for the awesome cast. Ah, uh, now I still have the graphic up. We'll get rid of that. I am Mike Sork here. In, oh, there he is in the studio here in Pittsburgh, PA. Again, uh, ready to get geeky here on the awesome cast. Uh, with me in the studio is Chilla. Wow. Well, no, nope, nope, nope. Nope, you're no. not Chilla. I'm, I'm Chilla. Not. There you go. There we go. There he is. What's up? He's got the blue teeth. There he is. How you doing, sir? Not too bad. Welcome back to the studio. Oh, it's good to be back. Now we also have um, AJ is 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 scheduled is not to here. be here. He's not here. Uh, <laughs> there there he is, not there. Um, but he is <laughs> on his way. Traffic is ridiculous right now, but we gotta keep a schedule. He's scheduled to be here all night with the uh, Wrestling Mayhem show as well. Uh, so when he gets here, he's gonna come in. He's gonna go put that little microphone on sitting at the bottom of the screen, and then we're gonna get right into talking. Uh, all the geeky stuff and the wrestling stuff with him as well. Uh, again, this is the awesome cast. Uh, you can check us out wherever at sorgatronmedia.com is where the show's posted generally. Uh, you can find us on uh, iTunes in video and audio formats, Blip TV, YouTube. A message I know if you're on YouTube or the iTunes, you did not get the video version. Uh, we're having some issues with Blip TV right now, and we're going to try to um, uh, get those resolved. But in the meantime, it's a great time to st- uh, use the YouTubes. Uh, start uh, subscribing there uh, uh, over on YouTube.com slash AnAwesomeCast, or it's linked over at SorgatronMedia.com. And, uh, and celebrate Geek Week, guys. Uh, you know what's really cool? I know we talk about like Blip TV gets us on the Roku box, but if you're on Xbox 360... Or anything else that has a YouTube application. I think does a PlayStation Three have one? I think maybe. I think they. I maybe, don't know. I'm maybe. not. A, I'm not a PlayStationer. Or you got a Google TV, or you got a Chromecast. <laughs> We're over on YouTube, uh, so that's another way to get us on your TV as well uh, in all of our SD <clears throat> glory. What, what? Are you able to? Are you able to live stream? Um. Because they just changed the rules. I saw rules. that they changed the rule. And according to the rule, and I haven't explored this yet, my personal uh, YouTube, which has been around for years, is obviously, I think I have like 200 subscribers on that thing. But that's over the years, right? But it, I don't think but it matters. But I qualify. So you but, qualify for But a... everything, like the Awesome Cast one, the Mayhem Show one, the Sorgatron Media one, is all around like, you know, ranges of like 20 to 50 subscribers. Oh, we got to get the subscribers So we got to get the subscribers up get so we can up. do the live stream. Uh, on each one of those, I guess, or we just do one for Sorgatron Media. So please, if, if you're out there and you're on the YouTubes <clears> right now, you guys in the chat room, if you haven't yet, go look up, go to SorgatronMedia.com, hit those YouTube buttons there on the right for each of the shows, uh, find a YouTube.com slash Sorgatron Media, subscribe to those. We wanted to test out this YouTube, mm-hmm. YouTube streaming, I and mean, we're seeing how many people are jumping in here thanks to uh, Justin TV. Um, we, uh, we're... we're or was it 30s or 90s? We're in the 30s now, but we had 100 people when we were just bullshitting here before mm-hmm. the show. So um, so let's get that up and so we can expose our awesome cast to uh, a, a wider audience here. I don't uh, know if AJ's looking for Sorgatron media movement or he has movement in his car. But he has movement. He has movement. <laughs> <laughs> I had some some great gifts going on or uh, imagery going on in the chat room. Uh, so, hey, let's get geeky with it. Um, uh, again, Chill is here. Uh, and, and Chill, you usually, as usual, have uh, some gadgets to show off. I definitely have blue teeth. You have blue teeth, as we've been saying, yes. I think it should be blue tie. Blue tie? Then we're just going to get confused, mm-hmm. and Russell fan's going to think that we're a restaurant he should check out, and we should just avoid that entirely. So I guess you could say Bluetooth devices. <laughs> 
I think that's how the normal people say it. <laughs> that's not fun. The normals, the, the normies, norms. if you would. What do you, did you want to start off with some of your your news? My news? Your news. Or we can jump right into mine. I don't That's care. That's kind of your thing. You want to well, go into mine? I kind of have a gadgety thing, but you're, I wanna go, your gadgety things are cool. Oh, you want to talk about this? Let's talk about that, then let's talk about my first topic, because my first topic actually leads into my blue teeth. Okay. My blue well, tie. I, mean, my... I was kind of, uh, I was kind of, kind of hurting for an awesome thing of the week, but I did finally order one of these things. Uh, they were talking about these over on uh, Mac. I think it was Mac Break Weekly. I think it was uh, a couple months ago. And I'm like, wow, I got a lot of traveling coming up. I should get one of those. Well, now that the traveling is over, I finally got one of these. Well, did you listen to their the, what they said that you should do? Which what, what when they... you're in the hotel room and you're missing your whatever you think you need? Yeah. You need to order it while you're still at your hotel and have it delivered for when that you get home. That's entirely usually what I do. Like, I have been on shoots and like, damn, I need more duct tape. And I'll order it right there on my phone. I have ordered, like, cords for a, a shoot while I'm sitting on the front porch waiting for my wife to get ready to go to work. You know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's how I I don't know why I fell out of it in the last couple months. Probably because I've just been so compressed with work lately uh, that even that has escaped my mind. Uh but finally, it was like, oh, God, that thing. Now that I don't have... Because it was one of those, like, I was in a hotel room. Like, well, I'm going to get in the hotel room. The next weekend, I was in a hotel room. And they didn't have much for plugs. And my laptop becomes that hub for all of my devices to be plugged into and charging overnight, right? But I got this thing. Uh, this is a Belkin... Wait, I got the box right here. It is a Belkin mini surge projector. Protector. I got the smaller of them. This is the... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Like there's, oh, there's all kinds of uh, ratings in here, but it is like uh, 15 amp, 120 volts, uh, 1800 watts, if you know all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a bigger version that was like $21. I think this was like uh, 10 or $12 I paid on Amazon. Uh, so now I have it, and now I'll completely forget it when I go on a trip. No, I just throw it in the bag. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll throw it in the bag with everything else. But uh, the big thing is you get three outlets. Um, which, you know, depending on the hotel, you might be really starving for outlets. I've definitely you know? been starving for uh, outlets. They were really nice to me at the Courtyard mm -hmm. Marriott last weekend when I had to charge cameras for a documentary and my uh, and try to use my uh, 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 laptop and plug in my phone and my Google Glass. And, and I, don't, I, mean, I think I might have brought my iPad. I can't remember. But now I have this. It's got three outlets on it. Uh, so that'll expand that out right off the bat. And it's got two USBs on the top. So I don't have to try to manage all those little, you know, USB adapters that come with your iPads or your iPhones and, and the glass and everything. Uh, so, so yeah, it's kind of like a one-stop shop for that. And I was thinking, like, this would even be great, like, in that one outlet they gave you on the Megabus. That'd be perfect. I, but the, here's, the, here's the fun part. Megabus is usually a pretty damn awesome thing, right? But the outlet, the power kept going out. Ooh. To my outlet, I'm like trying to charge, and it goes. I've been like, buddy, over there, you got you. I need to switch spots. Well, that's what I did. I'm like, do I bug somebody else? You know, I, it, thankfully, like I was, but it was it was an all around thing, I think, because I there was even like I was in the front, and they had an open space, like maybe they had a, a handicapped person there before, so there was no seat actually behind me mm -hmm. in that awesome front double decker seat. Uh, so I actually reached back and plugged in something there too, uh, but it was out too. It, it was like. Um, because I know when they shut it off and back on, like the internet kind of resets, I think the power does the same thing and it wasn't kicking on. So I just left my phone plugged in and then I would conserve power doing because the whole idea, I was going to actually edit uh, uh, something on the way home. But I didn't, I, you know, my, my laptop battery is going as we were demonstrating before the show. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to talk about that little app real quick uh, later on. Um, so I was just kind of stuck with that and... Uh, I think you, from now on, with that, you bring a 50-foot extension cord, extension and cord. you can test every... Uh, there has to be one that <laughs> one works. One of these has to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mega bus experience. <laughs> um, but, no, I mean, that was a little... But, I mean, you're on a mobile thing like that i'm not surprised the power should work wrong. i'll give them i'll give them the internet goes out because oh, yeah. it's wi-fi it's you know they probably have one single little hot spot from verizon or at&t power. power in the whole bus i'm thinking something was just like you know foggy you know uh, it just it was it was just kind of weird um and then i couldn't use this thing i couldn't use glass on the mega bus because they got that login screen which uh which you know and that that kills we talk about you know glass you can use uh, if you can sit at a computer and get the code in there to, to, to 
log in with security, WPA or WEP, you're, you're good to go. Uh, or if it's an open network. But if it's one of those open networks like the Starbucks or the hotels where you have to hit, click the I agree mm -hmm. or something, it's, there's no interface for this. And I was telling you before I discovered, because I got my Chromecast is on its way. I got the two to three week wait for it, right? Uh, I'm still trying to figure out the Nexus 7 shipped or not. Uh, oh, you picked up the 7. Yeah, I did pick up the 7. Uh, well, I figured you would have gone LTE or something on that so you could share it with... Uh... Uh, yeah, you know, I already have a MiFi, though. Oh, okay. But I do want yeah. something that's Android to interface with so I can show, like, what things look like and everything. Uh, and, and when they say it was, like, Retina at a 7-inch... I'm like, well, Which is not I, I have many I, and I want to play with Android. I seriously do want to play with Android mm -hmm. so I, I can see best of both worlds kind of kind of thing. Uh, and, and I like the idea of playing with seven inch plus my iPad one is not, you know, far enough off that I want to throw it away and get a new one. It works great for the teleprompting I do with it for some of the video watching I do with it. There's no reason to replace it for that. But then I have something else that's maybe a little more functional and portable. Um. But, but the Chromecast, uh, it was the same, same problem. You can't take it to a hotel, plug it in, because it needs that Wi-Fi connection in order to interface with your other device. Mm -hmm. And it can't get past that screen. So this is kind of a... This seems like it's a kind of general Google problem with their devices so far. And maybe it's, it's something that maybe this thing will correct. As There's your 99-cent app to put in the App Store. that For the Google Glass. For Glass and Chromecast. <laughs> exactly. Here's, here's an app. It, it, it'll... You could probably set it to, to tab through a page so many times, hit spacebar, and then enter. And it'll accept the, no, the terms do, and but services. No, all you do, but if you the page right, there should be an alt tag or something to the I agree button or the checkbox. Mm -hmm. You look for that. You, you write something that has an if-then kind of situation where if I find a checkbox that does that, we do this. If I'm just looking for an I agree button, you'll do this, and, and, and it gives it a shot. And you're on your way. And you're on your way. Exactly. So they're 99 cents, I'm sure. Go, Millions of people. It. We just made you. If you're out there and you know how to code something like that, I don't. I don't know if he does. I, I, for not, I don't know. It might be worth it. Might be There's worth ma it. There's mass adoption. Why not? Hey, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's here. Go sit down, sir. All right. Go sit down. Go sit you had down movement with, go sit all down the way here. Your, your, your piggy. I didn't know if that meant the car was moving or you were pooping in the car. Just put that on your lapel, sir. Oh, wow. I, I ran out, uh, of, I ran out of mics. All right. So uh, I, there we go. Right? AJ is here with us. I'm His here. camera's a little weird still. I'm trying to fix that. I think your exposure's a little, a little high. Yeah. Hey. There. We'll turn your mic up. So Hi. Can... Hi. Just Hi. Don't pat your chest. No, I can't. I can't pat my chest. I can uh, <laughs> wear a lapel mic with a t shirt, though. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I, I also have the it's, it, it was nice, though. It was nice. It was <laughs> nice. It was coming through on well, the audio. We can hear it. Uh, yes, I'm finally. I finally was able to get uh, here because Pittsburgh traffic is uh, super double awful t now. Thanks, oh. PennDOT. Well, we only shut down like three of the major arteries in town, so you still have like one left. You can, if you come from the north, you're okay. Yeah, if you come from the <laughs> north, you're fine. If you come from the east, <laughs> <laughs> especially east to south. Yeah, which is where I was Liberty coming from. Liberty Tunnel is closed. Liberty Tunnel is closed, so everybody's going through Fort Pitt Tunnel. And then my favorite picture that's on the internet about Pittsburgh is the um, you have local feet. references. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you have 300 feet. Merge wisely. Well, it's like you have 300 feet. You need, to, you need to be in the yeah, left yeah, lane from the right lane. There forward. we are. I'm just fixing your cam. All right. You're with us. So, Hi. so... AJ's back. I am. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> For those who don't remember AJ. If you don't remember me here on this couch, which is a long time it ago. Was a long ago. It was uh, long ago. Uh, I, I moved to North Carolina, and then uh, I, I, I'm on vacation. And where do I go on vacation? The beautiful city of Pittsburgh. Wow. How where they've they... summarily shut down all of the roads. <laughs> <laughs> it made it way harder to take a, to take a child to places. So, thanks, Pittsburgh. Now you're doing now, now much like Rob. We were like, oh, it's okay. okay. He's not here. He's off doing awesome things. You're also doing awesome things. I am. I am doing awesome things. I've just done a lot of awesome things, and and then I get to take a break from doing said awesome things to come talk, sit on this couch, and talk about other awesome things. Awesome cast. <laughs> there's your there's your PSA there's your PSA I do awesome stuff then I come to this couch and I talk about all that awesome stuff awesome we were just talking about what were we just talking about <laughs> I can't remember I was trying listen 
Yeah. Don't do this. But I was trying to watch in the car. <laughs> We're trying to figure out, like, do we call him on Skype? No, he's in the car. We're not going to promote I thought that about, kind of situation. I, yeah, we're not promoting that kind of situation. Do not text or video chat or podcast while driving. Well, do you have, like, a GPS mount for your phone that you could just... No. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have a car, so I, I don't know. I, I, I do. I do. I, I have one that's very nicely a place for the GPS or video blogging while I'm driving through a parking garage. I, I did. I did start a podcast mm-hmm. uh, that was in my car. It was called Talking to Myself, where I, I had uh, my iPhone and I had uh, the iPhone headset and I would just talk to myself in my car. Um, there were like three episodes and then the service that I was doing it through shut down. Then I stopped. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't push it any further. I just like, we're just not going to do that. No, I just I couldn't push it any further because it was just like it's like uh, it was like, hey, this is a sign or <laughs> your podcast is so bad, we're <laughs> shutting down four hundred other ones. <laughs> While we're at it, exactly. Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about power and 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 oh, the app to to oh, the app to the for app to get past and... the to get your Chromecast and your Google Glass to the through the I Agree page on Open Wi-Fi's at hotels. Whoa, because they because you have to go to a web page. Yeah, and we're saying somebody needs to make this. Yes, right. And I think by yeah. us just talking about it, I think it's trademarked and copywritten by us. That's right. Yes. Yeah. That's right. I, re- I I tried to buy a Chromecast, mm-hmm. and it, it and literally like the payment option wouldn't go through. It was like Steve Jobs had like a hold <laughs> of my credit card from the gray. It was like you don't want to do that, son. Would you try it through the Play Store or? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I tried to buy it from the Google Play Store like the day after it came out, and they were oh, like wow. payment option failed, and I was like, Wow. What? So I, I was like, like, Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll try a different card. No. I was like, all right, you're so, just say you're sold out. That's all you have to say. Just say we're sold out. No, we have, to make, it, we have to make it your problem that uh, that this is happening. I, I, I thought of the one thing that made me want to buy it. I saw the, the Wired review, and I use air quotes for those of you who are on audio. Um, and by the way, I am an audio listener, so you'll, you'll hear me try to help you. I try really hard to help the audio listeners. Do we of all forget the audio along. listeners sometimes? Sometimes. 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 Chachi uh, last week, I think, was saying, hey, look at this. And I'm like, I can't see you. Yeah, he's really right. bad with that. <laughs> so um, I, I, the, the Wired Review had a thing about using um, streams of the not legal kind on it. Mm-hmm. Like they opened up a Chrome tab and sent it to the Chromecast page. Yeah, it just works. And it worked, but then apparently opened like a billion Chrome windows in the background on the Chromecast and oh, almost no. crashed it. Oh, no. Because the Chromecast itself only has 256K of memory. <laughs> Real life. I'm not so joking. So it's actually actively uh, uh, taking that information and relaunching it on the Chromecast. That's it's apparently not just taking, what it looks like. It's not just taking a stream over or something like that. Right. It, runs, can... it runs like a tiny form of Android. It, it, or no, it doesn't run Android. No, it's running Android. Is it, is is it Android? That's right. Was... I couldn't. I got it confused. It's not running Chrome OS. Which is it's weird. Running, it's running Android a really, really tiny version of it just running this one Chromecast process. Somebody hacked it and was like, oh, there is ain't crap to do here. <laughs> right. <laughs> and moved on. And that's why it's 35 bucks. But the way they did it, since they're doing Chrome on a chip, it sounds like yeah. they can do the Chrome things, which are kind of pretty powerful, right? Yeah, the problem is that there's no way, there's no Bluetooth. Yeah. there's. It's basically just sending telling chromecast to go do something yeah that's it you can't do anything with it you can't hook up a keyboard to it you can't hook up a mouse to it you can't we really expecting to though no but if you're if you're going down the hacking path yeah that's kind of where you're looking i'm sure that somebody's going to hack some keyboard or or somebody's going to put a bluetooth stack into the android have a tiny computer (laughs) (laughs) honestly you can hook up this tiny chromecast and have it be like my tiny little presentation computer. I go out to Dropbox, pull down my presentation, run it off of there. I don't have to have a laptop. Yeah. Well, even as it is, I mean, if you're using, I don't know if anybody does this, but like Google Docs presentation, you could do your slideshow through yeah. there uh, from a tab, something like that. Some people are, are already talking about, well, I'm going to buy this thing, put it on my key ring so I can take it and pop it in for a presentation if, or just to show something on my right. laptop. There's a nice HDMI port on the um, 
on the uh, projector at, at, at my one job, so I want to plug it in there and see if right. it works right out there. i got to be really honest. This is an Apple TV solution. But there's nothing on the device, and this is where I kind of It's not question. independent. That's the problem. It's I, not independent. I, so here's, here's my issue. It's, so yeah. it, it picks up the stream from the device, which is nice. So then I can, I can throw the stream over there and then shut my device off, and it just keeps going. Yeah. The thing I didn't like about it was is the Chrome tab, and I'm sure they're going to fix this in future, future versions of Android, you have to have Chrome from a desktop browser. Mm-hmm. So I can't use my Android Nexus 7. I can't use whatever device and throw it from that. So now you're stringent to I that. I have to have like a $1,200 Pixel or another laptop or some real PC-esque machine with me to do the Chrome tab. Right. Which I think they need to make it where it's more integrated with a phone or a tablet or something that is just that as portable as it is. That could be coming. It could be. And the other weird thing is, is that I feel like if they're going to do like the HBO to goes and the Netflix type stuff, give me a small low end menu that I can just use it. I don't need to open up Netflix on my device, start a movie and then mm. throw it to the Chromecast. Yeah. And that's, this is where I think, and I, I think Google do well to distance themselves from Apple TV and Roku. Yeah. They're tr- people want to put them in the same category. They're not the same. They are two completely different things. They are different devices doing different things. Don't try to but, shove. But this is a cheap. It, it, we're looking at this. This is a cheap solution to get your Hulu and your Netflix on your TV. But it's not. It's not. I'm sorry, because because here you so have I to can... tell you have to tell the device to go do it. Mm-hmm. You have to have your phone or no, something you, you else. Can't to, use a, well, you can use a phone you, with you Netflix. Use, yeah, you, you can use a phone use with Netflix. A tab. Right, but you can't use Chrome tabs, so you can't – basically, if your app is not using the Chromecast API, which apparently, according to uh, Erica Sadoon from – or Sadin, I'm sorry if, if you – Erica, if you do watch this podcast, I'm really sorry for butchering your last name. From the unofficial Apple weblog, uh, she's an iOS developer, and she said using the Chromecast API is stupid easy. Like, it is literally – you just throw it in there, and you're done. That's I've, we've been doing some MDM testing with uh, Mobile Iron and uh, Good Technologies, yep. and their 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 SDK stuff is like ten lines of code, copy yeah. paste, done. Yeah, that's what the Chromecast is. It's like ten li- It's like ten lines, and you're done. You just copy and paste it in, compile and roll. Yeah, and then give it some sort of GUI piece to to control it. Just attached to a button, right? Attach and it to a button. It. That's it. Well, that's but, but that's awesome for that's awesome developers. for developers. But I'm on, I'm wondering how many developers jump on board. Given the, I think the problem with the the problem with Chromecast is that we don't know how many people are really going to do it mm-hmm. because it's so cheap. It's thirty. I was going to buy it just for funsies. Well, they estimated a million sold. Right. That was you have estimate. a million sold. However, how many of those people are really? using it well that and how many people like are throwing it in their tv finding out you can only do like mm, three things properly mm-hmm. without using chrome tab and then saying ah, i'm done here or how many people logged in and they are technical and they bought seven of them and they have them on every tv in their house that's the thing there's <laughs> you, you but you have to get the developer to go with that mm-hmm. and if the developer doesn't do it the all this you know talk about the api is kind of lost which stinks because I, I like the idea of it. I like the idea that it's something that I can take with me to hotel rooms and I put it in the and I put it in there and I can pull up streams on the TV instead of running them on my laptop. Except you need Wi-Fi and you need to accept the disclaimer from the hotel room. And we're back to square one. <laughs> Circle gets the square. Uh, there's a from the chat Whoopies room. in the middle. Uh, uh, Alex wants to know. Uh, he's got a real testimonial for this week's show. Uh, awesome cast saved me thirty five dollars by letting me know. Con- Chromecast might not be worth my time, and I think it might be. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I think it can't. I, I, I'm still got my two to three weeks to find out if it's worth my time, so I'm hoping it will. But I, I, it's, I hope it is. Yeah, I do, because I, I would like to have a little thirty five dollar device. The reason, the reason that, that we sold a million thirty five dollar devices, because it's a thirty five dollar device to people like us that are buying iPads and whatever else. Uh, that's nothing. 
Yeah, right? thirty-five dollars. That's, that's seven no, apps. Remember that's when, seven high. That's seven high cost apps. Exactly. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and, and and to a market which is like the geeks that were completely who bought this right off the bat, they're going to get it. They, Google already probably made back what they did for manufacturing and setting that up. Uh, now. You have in the hands a lot of people that are going to hack this thing. They're going to find new uses for this thing. Think the Google Glass Explorer program, but it was a much cheaper, uh, wider spread version of that. Well, I want yeah. right now. I want two for for my house. I have two TVs that I don't want to spend the money on another Apple TV for. Yeah. But I want something in there that's going to let me stream. Yeah. So there, boom, done. I could I could buy three of those for the price of an Apple TV. I kind of wish that they would make AirPlay. That Apple would make AirPlay a little more granular. Granular or open, open it up for Both. everyone. Both, but I'm saying granular. Like Didn't I just want to say they were going to open it up at some point. They there. said that with iMessage too. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, I'm I get thinking, AirPlay audio. I get AirPlay audio on my stereo receiver. Right. I'm but thinking I don't get video. I'm thinking like I want to send just this app, kind of like a presentation mode type of thing. And so now I've noticed Instead some of developers doing, can do it. And yeah. one of the things that I was looking at was, I was I, for one of the things that we were going to go over today, when I AirPlay, I get a completely different AirPlay screen than what the UI on the device is. So it's actually doing a presentation type mode. And I've seen this in a couple other apps. Mm -hmm. When you air, like you AirPlay a presentation and on, on the device, you get like your presentation notes down the side. Yeah. But the, the AirPlay screen only gets the presentation panel and that's even hmm. in mirroring mode mm -hmm. oh yeah i can see that like per, like powerpoint yeah power yeah powerpoint does that by default that's just powerpoint but there's no power that's not air i'm talking about from the ipad airplane mirroring. oh to oh i thought mirror. you were talking about your laptop no oh hmm. now i'm confused hey ios 7 came out with a new beta today who wants I, to watch me update it i updated both my devices New colors on the icons. That's about it. I hope they fix some of the bugs. Oh, they fixed the, the, the big one, the two big bugs that I was running into with Beta 3. What's the swipe? Did you have issues with swipe to unlock? No, I had issues where my phone would just shut off. Oh. And I had to hard reboot to get it to turn back on. I was almost late for a meeting because <laughs> of that. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, my phone wouldn't ring. It would just go <laughs> straight to voicemail. <laughs> And I've run into an issue here today where uh, text message sounds just don't want to happen. This is why you don't run the betas, kids, unless you really, <laughs> really hate yourself. <laughs> it's awesome for a while, but then, then the bugs pop up and you're like, oh, hey, I needed that. Lessons learned, kids. Don't, don't put iOS 7 on your daily driver. Jill, I want to get uh, over to you with your awesome things of the week. So first thing real quick solar powered laptop i put through a link in the in the uh show notes there okay. um not that it's a huge big new technology but i i look at it as the more and more i start and we're going to get into this in the in the next in the within the next topic um the more and more i'm connecting more and more bluetooth devices to my devices i'm seeing huge battery drain wouldn't it just be nice as your device is open or sitting there your phone's flipped over. Just put solar panels everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, and this device, they're saying two-hour charge time. And this is a solar-powered Ubuntu laptop mm -hmm. for those on audio. So I just see more and more devices coming with some kind of solar-powered option. Mm -hmm. I could see definitely coming in handy. And this is, um, and I guess, I guess uh, anybody making a laptop with Ubuntu is kind of open for that experimentation, huh? I would, th I would think anyone building. I'm not on your mic. Yeah. I would think anyone with any laptop could hook up mm -hmm. solar power to charge a battery cell. I don't yeah. think that's. I don't think that's hardware or OS driven. No, because there's not even a. You wouldn't even think you would need a hardware driver per se. Yeah. Just, oh, there's the solar. I was looking for the solar panels. I was like, where are they? <laughs> and then it turns out there's like a third panel. So that, you know, normal laptop opens like this. Then on the back of the monitor, there's another panel that comes down, and it's all solar How panels. How is this? In there. Is, it, is it in pictures here, or it's on the the Soul website? Oh, I see. They have a picture of an elephant there. Picture oh, of an elephant. Yeah, there's a picture of an elephant on the website. I'm trying to help you, the audio listeners. 
Um, yeah. But they have, um... Ooh. Yeah, it looks... Terrain, off-road, sport utility. That looks like a game of Battleship, dude. It does. It does look like a game of Battleship. Solar-powered Battleship. That's what that looks like. For those of you on the video... Or for those of you who are on the audio, go find the video... Uh, about 37 minutes in if you guys started at 7. And the other thing, and, AJ, the other thing I've been doing for you audio listeners mm. is tweeting the things we find. Thank you. So you can go back to when the show was recorded and there they are. Especially show for notes. stuff we don't get in the show notes. And we have a new idea for show notes that Chill is going to explore. Is it putting links into the description? Well, 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 well I, I, I link the show notes now for those links. All right. But There's links in the in the dock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we're thinking of a prettier way to take care of that. So. 3D. No, 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 no 3D. No 3D. Links spinning around my head <laughs> when I'm at work. There's a Google. There, if you get Google Glass, there'll be an interface on Glass. There's an interface in your face <laughs> for links. With you, show notes. That's right. You got to try these still, right? I still have to try them, and I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I want to get one. Well, we, well you'll, you'll get some time. Oh, here, before the end of the show, you will, I like having people try them live on the air to get okay. that reaction. So okay. before we end the show, you'll, we'll, we'll send these over there delicately. Yes. And, uh, and take care of that. Uh, Chilla, you got some more? So the next thing is... I have a Bluetooth stylus that if you actually, it's actually battery powered. It charges off your, off your, any device. You've been telling me about this for a while. And it's great. And now it's, it's getting better and better as time goes on. And one of the links that I put in the show notes was links to all the supported apps. Mm -hmm. So interestingly enough, if Bluetooth connects to an iOS device, but the app that you're using has to support it. And one of the things that if you switch over to, my okay. switch over to my laptop. Oh, is that you? That's my laptop on a different screen. There oh. we go. Oh, it's catching up. Cool. It's catching so up. So it does automatic palm rejection because it knows the stylus is Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So if I start drawing with my finger, it just completely wipes it away. Mm -hmm. But when I write with the stylus, which my handwriting is terrible. Yeah, note his palm is... Uh, oh, I just picked up my palm. It picked up his palm. That's sad, but now it's not. Oh, it must be when I'm using... If I'm using this... Hmm. I haven't had this happen before. Slowly picking up video <laughs> of an iPad thing. But I, I find it actually useful for taking notes at work. Mm -hmm. So the whole, I'm not carrying around notebooks and paper and i can't find what i took a note on yesterday because it's in some other spiral notebook i find this much easier and it aut automatically every time i leave and i wiped out all my work notes so people can't see them all um it actually uploads the pdf to dropbox That's so you also have all of your notes instantly backed up all the time i wish evernote would do that like evernote <clears throat> had stylus and stuff with the ipad That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Because I I I am very deep in Evernote. Really? Deeply in Now, are you Evernote. a paying customer for Evernote? Uh, twice. Twice. So, uh, I pay for I paid for Evernote cuz I really liked Evernote. And then um, my company does Evernote Business. Evernote Business is the jam. Yeah. So, this is not my awesome thing of the week. But Evernote Business uh, allows you to have multiple it has your notebook, but it also has your coworkers notebooks. And you can basically check out their notebooks, and it syncs their notebooks to your machine. Can you make it? Can you make a notebook private? Yeah. Like if you don't want. Yeah, other you teammates. you have to publish it. Okay. So I have my my daily notes, my daily work log notes, published as a notebook, and my other coworkers have theirs as well. But when I start searching, it searches everybody's notebook. Okay. So it gets really cool when I'm working with a customer on the implementation side and I can search the notes of the sales side and see, oh, hey, this is what they were trying to do on the, in the beginning. But it doesn't have handwriting. So you have, to, you have to type everything. Right. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, you have to type everything, which is fine by me because I, I do a lot of um, copy and paste because I end up doing the same thing over and over again. Okay. So it works out for me. But I, I would actually like that because I'd like to be able to draw designs and that sort of stuff we're doing network diagrams stuff yes. like that and yeah. some of the utility like drawing this. is hard on a laptop 
this has like autocorrect for oh that that's cool sorg why, why aren't we on this <laughs> i don't know it's too many cameras <laughs> yeah. so if, if i draw a square it'll actually try to autocorrect my square or my circle oh nice um so I, it works out well when you're doing trying to draw out a firewall and here's yeah. here's this coming in auto yeah. so just for quick diagrams it's, it's, yeah that's great now, if you draw like a like an arrow, kind of like a Z arrow, does it auto correct that, or is it like, yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, so it cleans it up pretty well. There you go. Um, it's kind of like it reminds me of how Flash would correct for you. Well, yeah, uh, I don't know if anybody's developed in Flash, uh, but yeah, I like, do a lot of whiteboarding, and I really wish that there was a. Um, like a screen that I could put over a regular whiteboard and have it like as a smart whiteboard. Or didn't you like paint your walls and whiteboard at one point? No, I did not paint my walls. I thought about it. Um, I, I ended up, and this is on my blog, virtualpotholes.com, shameless plug, um, the, do, the do-it-yourself whiteboard. So uh, there's a, a, it's a kitchen product called Tileboard, and it's used as a backsplash for um, ovens, stoves, sinks, and it's effectively just a really smooth surface. And if you go to Home Depot, you can get an eight foot by four foot sheet in white. That's whiteboard, basically. Basically. Uh, so I have it actually cut into. Yes, Sorg is helping me get those hits. <laughs> um, but it, it, I haven't blogged them a little bit, and I should. Um, but you can write on it with a whiteboard, and you can erase it. It doesn't erase as cleanly. As a professional whiteboard, but the eight by four foot sheet is like twelve dollars compared to. So why not? Compared to a professional whiteboard for half the size is like one hundred and twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. So I have two eight four foot by four foot whiteboards in my home office that I can draw on, and I thought about taking, I thought about taking the four foot by four foot sheet and cutting it into two by two, and then just taking it with me everywhere I go, and just keeping it in my trunk. And then when people ask, like, "Oh man, I need a whiteboard," there it is in my trunk. Or I could get an iPad and a stylus. I have an iPad. And then airplay it. Or throw it through Chrome, Chromecast. And then I have to carry all of these things <laughs> or just use their whiteboard, which is way easier. Take a picture of it when you're done. Most of my customers do. That's what they're not artsy. They're just... That's what, that's what I did. I took a, I took, I took a picture of the, uh, of the board in the lab because so, I wrote directions and some notes uh, uh, throughout the lab. So I'm like, I want to remember everything I put up here so I can write out the... Because I put an announcement email out to everybody, kind of like a newsletter for the class. Right. So I just went, boop, took a picture. Oh, yeah, boop. Just boop. Just, boop, just glasses boop. Boop. Like that. Cyclops style. So. Um, awesome. So the last thing I have is the Bluetooth keyboard. Yeah. Which actually makes it much easier getting... I'm sorry. Getting around at you work. You keep getting in front of the, kid, the microphone. <laughs> I completely go go dead. Um, Is it, that the washable one? It's not washable, but it actually allows for, it's backlit, and it allows for three Bluetooth connections. Oh, wow. So I have at work, I have my iPad, my iPhone, and my work PC, and I can switch from one device, I can be typing. You, you, you hold DM'd up. me. Hold up, hold up, what we got here. So this is a this is and a Bluetooth the, keyboard. The backlighting, too. Logitech. That, yeah, backlighting looks good there. Um, I, I can see it from here at least. Uh, so, so you just have this. So it's like you. It's kind of like you have your own KVM uh, Bluetooth kind of situation. Correct. Okay. So, so I was actually working, and you DM'd me. Mm -hmm. I actually unlocked my device from here. Mm -hmm. It opened up Twitter into your DM. Mm -hmm. I responded. And I actually had to reach over and tap send. Ah! But then I went, oh, flipped back on the Bluetooth and kept, went back to work. What's nice is no one at work knows necessarily. If someone comes up behind me and they see me at the keyboard, I could be DMing. I could be doing whatever on my phone. What's it called again? It's the Logitech K810 Bluetooth Illuminated Keyboard. And it supports up to three devices simultaneously. Logitech also makes one that's washable. And they make one that's uh, solar powered. Yeah. Logitech Ooh. doing cool, cool things. $100 of your American currency. There you go. Does that say iOS 8? No, that's a, that's a, that's a registered 
trademark. Oh, okay. Um, I was like, and <laughs> iOS eight. Set up. I, I, Logitech's <laughs> already in the future. They're like uh, so, iOS seven. So wait, so it, so it's Windows, Android, iOS. So it doesn't work with Mac. It uh, it works with my Mac. It no does problem. work with Mac. Okay, and they're just not officially putting it out there. So tablet, smartphone. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know so, what I think it is? It doesn't have some of the hot keys that like I have okay. a I have a function control. You're not going to have like the open Apple. Okay. But the button work. The button should map over. Well, like well, you should the, try all the Windows key always maps over. Because I, I I have a I have a regular I have a Hackintosh at home and I use a Windows keyboard with it, and uh, the Windows key actually works that works. way. Works. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, Windows C is Apple C. Yeah, and any time Apple I've had C. to, like, throw another uh, keyboard on for whatever reason, yeah. you know, it works out. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm using a PC keyboard right here, actually, for the for the Mac Mini. So, But you are limited to three. So if you had a Mac, a Windows PC, a tablet, yeah, only a phone, three, only really? three, only, only three. three devices in this world, you know. I, you know, and that's and we were talking about, like, there needs to be, like, an extra interface for something like this with glass, mm-hmm. you know, because there's no... We well, have Bluetooth input. There's Bluetooth, so that makes sense. Could you imagine? So now you're going to need this little keyboard, so you can interface with this a little better. Just like like half the people with iPads and everything have keyboards. I mean, it just seems like it's a little much at that point, though. Um, but especially if they, they really want it to be independent. I mean, have you seen? It? I guess it, it, getting back to the hotel conundrum. If you had a small, if you've seen any of the small Bluetooth keyboards that are more or less meant for TV. Mm-hmm. With a with a mouse, if you had to throw that in your bag for extreme dire circumstances, it's it's usable. Can you imagine this thing getting to the point where like I can like really instead of taking an iPad with me, a laptop. This is what I interface with. Well, when it goes back to the Chachi thing, I'm putting the interface in his arm. That's right. We'll just put the keyboard in the arm and put the video in your eye. I can't imagine typing like this though. Have you ever I, seen the frog the the frog pad? No. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Do well, you have it in your bag of tricks? No. But it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's like a nine key keyboard. Oh, okay. and like you double tap letters and, like, and stuff well, like that. Well, think about think about those uh, those those controllers they would have for video games. They're like like they're kind of mimic the keyboards, but it's, it's only maybe like six to eight keys. Oh, there's a sad part of the new beta. I no longer have my bar. Got to reboot. <laughs> this is, this oh, is and this is beta five beta life kids <laughs> don't oh, you know, maybe but, uh, if I just speaking of which uh, Nero uh, 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 Matt sent us nope. actually a uh, a link to something because Josh has been talking about that ARM computer and everything so somebody apparently is one step towards that with this ARM star uh, apparently it's a uh, a combat ARM computer of some sort is that a taser on the outside? Apparently. That you can just tase people I with it? I think so. Wearable gauntlet. You go in. It's got a screen in there. The future of self-defense. There's a you see the USB key in there. Uh, the future of self-defense. Let me download judo lessons. What? What is this? It's the future of a wearable, hands-free, less-than-lethal system that includes... Uh, an ED that produces a loud, crackling, electric arcing sound from the electrodes that can, in an electronic control device, also apply an electric shock to the aggressor for pain compliance applications. So yeah, it's an arm-mounted computer slash taser. I'm in trouble. <laughs> taser armed. <laughs> Boom. These. And you just, well, the problem I is see. that it's on the outside here, so you gotta like. I, I don't know. Well, there's like something on the inside too. I thought so. So I'm thinking like you could tase yourself. Thing. No, no, you grab the person, and you t- and they're still like overreacting. You can't subdue them. You tase them on the inside. Like if I'm seeing how this thing operates, I'm no self-defense expert. No, I am not a person who knows self-defense. <laughs> I, I'm I'm just gonna run. Yeah. Yeah. And hope I don't run out of breath. So, Chill, are you still looking for that thing? Yeah, um, look at frogpad.com. So it's kind of like a... Um, and it looks like they're redoing a lot of what they okay. were doing. So okay. It's, so, but it, so they're coming in coming in 2013, reserve the frog iPad, pad too. iPad app. So the whole point is it's one, it's one hand 
typing. Okay. And they supposedly you can go through like a 10 minute tutorial and you're supposed to be able to type just as fast as you can with two hands. Well, the, I, the, this is kind of the same idea as, um, oh, what's the thing that the court reporters do? Lithograph? No. Mm, no. I know what you're talking about. No. The court reporter. Court reporter. Stenograph. Yes. Stenographer. 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 Yeah, stenography, it, it, the, the stenography uh, uh, machine that they have in the courtroom only has like 12 keys on it. But if you get really good at typing with it, you can type faster than people with two hands on a full keyboard with individual letters can. So I'd imagine that's the same general idea there. Yeah, there it is right the there. Pad. Stenography. So here was the first uh, this picture small. Okay, so so there was like an older version you're looking. But there for? there is an older version. If you if you I mean just look at Google Images and look at Frog Pad keyboard, but it it's basically a small device that looks to be a little bit bigger than your iPhone. Yeah. Or your or your. It has whatever. Uh, what is that? Fifteen keys. Right. Yeah, it's fifteen keys. Uh, fifteen normal size keys. So look at your keyboard. Fifteen of those. And then you hold down this key and it'll alter every key, or you hold down this key and it alters all these keys. Wait, is it on your computer? Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait we, for it to update there. Waiting for it to update to me. It's going to be cool when we get in. We'll update. get that in a second. Rock pad <laughs> away to me. It's it not on a different out. screen. It's not coming <laughs> it's not out. Coming different up. screen. No. Oh, here uh, we go. I got it over here. You got it? One of these things? It's over there. Okay. Looks like we got several versions over here. So you're, you're talking about something like this. Oh, I, I can't it come up. There it is. Exactly. Okay. That thing. So, so if you look around the perimeter of the keypad, mm -hmm. you can hold down different keys, and it alters the center panel of keys. And it's Bluetooth, so you could strap that to your wrist. Okay. Or your arm. And that could be my interface, say, for my. Uh, I was, still don't want to type that way. I got to be really honest. That seems painful. Yeah. Either way, you got to learn to do it some a different way. <laughs> I mean, there's the idea, and I think we brought up on the show this idea that maybe this would project the keyboard in front of you, and that's how that works. I would. That would be that cool. That would be awesome. Hold you on. Know? Let me get my keyboard. <laughs> or it's even the idea that, like, yeah, like you're the only person that sees it. You know, because I, I think the cool idea will be, like, I look through this thing, but I'm looking at stuff around me, but it's, like, revealing, like, other information overlaid or, or like, like, behind it or something so i'm the only one seeing the keyboard say and maybe this is too small of a window to kind of see that but who knows you know maybe it's something maybe we get a little thing where this thing fl flips down here so we can look down and see that keyboard when ted That'd talks cool. ted talks did some stuff about that that was pretty cool mm -hmm. where they had it was kind of a wearable computing concept yeah. and what they were doing was they were using the video camera from something like glass you actually had to wear pieces of colored tape on your pointer finger okay, and thumb. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. But what you could do is, because it knew, based on the, the, the colors on, on your fingers, you could actually be reading the newspaper and put your fingers around a picture. And, and it then, would Google the picture and look for the associated video. And then it would project geez. the video from the still into your eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you see something dribbling out of my ear, that's my brain because it just exploded. What? <laughs> so what they were doing was is it it would use the video camera, right? And I, and I, and I'm your fingers, mm -hmm. and it would image capture whatever you were looking at between your fingers. But did you have to hold your fingers there like the whole time? No, you really annoying. It would be like an image, an image snapshot, and then imagine Google goggles going and finding the associated video with the still shot and then playing the video through the camera. It, it, isn't that just, uh, what, what was it, the Harry Potter? Isn't that just the Harry <laughs> Potter newspaper? What, the Sony exactly. thing? The Sony? No, it was like, a, but yeah, it's like the Harry Potter the, the newspaper. The Sony PlayStation thing, right? Where you had, it was like the magic book or something and it used the eye and then oh, you yeah. held it up and it was, it was like a hole in the book with the yeah. dragon flying out and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that's some well, there was a card I, game or something. PlayStation I was still the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. But there was a card game that was kind of like that. It was the card game was kind of like uh, the, the the chess on the Millennium Falcon in Star yes. Wars. <laughs> Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> All right, AJ, you, you said you got an awesome thing of the week here. Uh, I have an awesome thing of the week before my phone updates itself. Uh, do you have a child? Neither one of you do. No, I no, do. not here. So um, in the past, uh, people have always had to. Uh, uh, 
people who wanted to track what their baby was doing because a baby can't tell you what's wrong with them. And a baby yeah. can't tell you that it's sick other than it's just kind of barfy. And their babies are all barfy. Kid? No, I did not did chip my kid. A, did you get him a Fitbit? No. Um, I have uh, – there's an app for the iPhone called Baby Connect. So my wife and I each have this app on our phone. And it's effectively an online synced journal. So I can see how long he was eating, how long he was sleeping, diaper changes, all that stuff. And you can kind of keep track of it all on this app, but then it's synced, so I can keep track. So when I'm on the road, I can see that he's sleeping. Yes, that. Their app and uh, website are not pretty. <laughs> not. <laughs> now, do, do you do you have to put in the app that the baby went to sleep? or is Yeah, there... yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, the whole so idea is now, you know, yeah. you and her and maybe the maid or something or babysitter – now have all that information because each one of you knows a piece of the puzzle right yes so i'm t- uh, and i will i will readily admit on recording on the internet that i suck at putting things into it yeah um but it's really nice because i can see that um my son did not give my wife a hard time today and so when i get home i'm not gonna have to deal with my wife being very mad about <laughs> andy being you know fussy all day or you know to stay away or I know to not even ask. Or I know or I can say, hey, it was a pretty good day today. Yeah, it was pretty good. We did all of this, and then it it's it's very nice. I, I actually really, really like it. Um, she found it when we were still in the hospital after it was born <laughs> and started using it then and there. And so there's data in here all the way back from like the day he was Which born. Which is definitely handy. I mean it is. And I mean, think of think of how many Think of how many studies that happen. I, I, I listened to, um, I, I filmed actually this guy that was, um, uh, their whole thing was taking, about taking data sets and, and saying how it's hard for us to figure out how thing, how like, uh, you know, epidemics happen after the fact because you yeah. can't track it back. But could you imagine if like a good set of kids had this kind of thing mm-hmm. going on and has that, that information right from <clears> birth? And maybe there is something like something's in the water, and your kids get something, right? You know, Prism God, has God forbid. That now. But yeah, but, but I'm sure can, they have all the you, information they need on my kid. Exactly, <laughs> Prism's got all, got your kid. <laughs> he knows how long he sucked his thumb and everything, right? Yeah, he when sucked 60, his thumb for. When he's 16, they they're going to bring that everywhere. back, right? Um, yeah. But but I mean, that's something that you can like you know later on you can track back. Was your kid? Uh, you know, sleep in a certain way, nourishing a certain way, uh, developing yeah. a certain way. Uh, that that that's a great data set. It is, and uh, the nice part is, is that when we go to the doctor, yeah, and the doctor says how's he been eating, I just hand him the phone, so it's and not, he can go back and see how long he's been eating. So now he doesn't have to worry about that interpretation because I'm sure parents are great uh, at that. Generally, he's been eating okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I have legitimate data. There's timers, so. When my wife is breastfeeding. She starts a timer because you can't when when a baby breastfeeds. You, there's no like you don't know how much how much they're actually eating. You yeah. just have how long they ate. Yeah, and then you basically can judge kind of sort of on the uh, other side. You know the output. <laughs> so <laughs> in order to keep track of that, you have to keep track of how long they fed on the first, how long they fed in the first place, and then how long you know what happened on the other side. So by tracking all of that, when I go to the pediatrician for my son and say he's sick and they ask how's he been eating lately, I have all of this data, both sides, and you can kind of say, hey, this is how well they've been doing. And so I can also say this is probably why he's, you know, uh, he's gained weight or he hasn't gained weight or that sort of stuff. Being a parent involves a lot of data. Wouldn't it be nice it. if they could just grab that sink and... That would be kind of cool, because then you and then you may not I'll even need to go from, from a normal for for normal checkup. Mm-hmm. They could no, have they could have all that data prior to going in. You can imagine there's, so cer- there's certain quick. things. There's certain th- yeah, it's much quicker. But there's certain things that the doctor wants specifically length and weight. And as we all know, the 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 more consistent you keep the scale, mm-hmm. the more accurate that weight is. So mm-hmm. we've weighed him at home basically using displacement so <laughs> i weigh myself then i weigh myself holding him and then we subtract and that's his weight the problem is we've weighed him on two different scales and been off by seven tenths of a pound doesn't seem like much but when he weighs eh, 14 pounds 
that's a lot. So, yeah. you know, that sort yeah. of thing is, is consistent. And, and, go, and But having that data it makes me very, very happy. Good. Uh, and it's a very cool thing Can for you me. Can imagine they have, like, I'm, I'm, like, with this, like, what they had, like, a, a baby Fitbit. They should have baby should. Fitbit because that would probably that would probably uh, you know answer the question to my doctor, uh, to my pediatrician. Oh hey, he's uh, he's a little on the low side. Oh yeah, check out his Fitbit, and it shows <laughs> that he's been doing barrel rolls for the last two months. <laughs> Not a joke. Kid rolls over all the time, and I just every time he does that, I go do a barrel roll, <laughs> and it's hilarious to me. Baby my Fitbit. wife just goes, "What is Make wrong with you?" So, um, awesome. Um, all right. I, well, I guess time to toss this over, real quick. Ah, yes. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Do I have? I need to know that I have enough slack in the microphone. Ah. Okay. I don't know okay. if I can get up here. So we're gonna toss okay. that over. So AJ, right. for you on audio, AJ is gonna check this out. Uh, you know, like we did with Chill a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> He's gonna test out the uh, glass for the first time here. Yeah. So we have. Uh, Google Glass, mm -hmm. and I just put it on over my over my glasses. Over your mm -hmm. glasses, because if okay. you're nearsighted, it's, you're going to have trouble. No, oh, oh, oh not yeah. like in front of your glasses. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so it needs go. to be. All right. You see the screen? Yes. Okay. It's kind of weird. <laughs> no, well, ideally, if you were fitted right, it would be above your vision, so it wouldn't bug it so much. Actually, yeah, it's it's definitely above my. Yeah, you're pretty uh, decent it's there. Above my vision. So you see, and then you see. But the, it's like off to the left. Off to the left? Yeah. Like, like you're not seeing the whole thing? Like I'm not well, there's the whole also thing. the arm kind of the goes. The arm kind of there, There's an arm in the front. Oh, okay. That Hold screen's on. on. This. Oh, okay, okay. So it's... put it on and you can adjust that until oh, you see okay. it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So this I'm doing a... all sorts of things to your to Google Glass. Right? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it detects when it comes on, comes off, and gives oh, there you a little shine. There, there you go. go. That's so perfect. you see it. So go ahead and um, tap it. It pops okay. up. And you see... Say that at the bottom. That is a really uh, crisp screen, isn't it? I gotta be, I gotta be really it? honest. That is really crisp. Well, it's, it's supposed to mimic that. a twenty-five inch screen at eight feet away. Well, what I noticed when I looked up in here, it actually took up the whole, like <laughs> a whole ducts. panel of the air duct. I was like, <laughs> it does a pretty good job of that. <laughs> it really does. It. I mean, I mean, it's. I mean, when I tap it, it covers that entire laptop screen easily. Which is so for those of you who can't see what's going on in the studio, there's a uh, an HP laptop, about a 15 inch screen, about what is that, five, six feet five, away? Five, six feet away. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's it's over that. So, yeah, I can, yeah, 25 so inch screen like, over eight feet away. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, so you're on, you start off, you got the time, and it says, okay, glass underneath there. I don't know if it picked yeah. that up. Um, so, that's your voice screen. This is the only place you can do voice right now, right? Okay. So, after you say that phrase, it'll pop up a list of things you can do. So, go, uh, go where are you uh, at? Right? I, I see OK Glass. Uh, OK Glass, uh, take a picture. Wait, wait. Oh, I went away. Wait, wait. Now try it. OK Glass, take a picture. Wait. Take a picture. There you go. And there's Sorg's face. There you go. <laughs> you see, you gotta give it a second though. You have yeah. to say, "Okay, glass." Wait for that list to come up. Take a picture, just like you need to say, "Okay, glass." Google, and then whatever you want to say. Okay, glass. Google Sorgatron Media. What? United breaks guitars. <laughs> the power of one voice you in the age of social. You have to say Google. Wait for that screen that comes up. That that uh, that that talk to me screen right, right, that you see on. in Google. There we go. Okay, glass. Oh, it's gone. It's gone forever. Now, is there like a the, the is there a button here? Yes. Yeah, up on the top, there there's go. a button that takes a and picture. And that just takes pictures. Just okay. takes a picture. If you hold it down for a second, it'll actually take a 10 second video right off the bat. Okay. And so. then, what if I wanted to take a video longer than 10 seconds? You hit it again, and it keeps going oh, until okay. you stop it. All right. So you just keep taking them in 10 second increments? No, no. After that first down. thing where you hit it, it, okay. it just keeps going until you turn, until you hit it again to stop. All right. So there we go. Now, now I have video. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> that is that is the craziest thing ever. Now, can you do a voice command for the video to be longer than fifteen seconds? Oh, by the way, for those of you who want to know what it's like to update your uh, to update your beta phone, this is what it looks like. Can I post that? Is that NDA? I don't know. No, no uh, it's it's the same update process that <clears throat> any update is. So yeah, no, the new one. Just... Guess what they did in the new one? What's that? If you have a white phone. The background of the update is now white and the logo is black. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I stopped the video, so sorry, you'll have a video somewhere. You'll right. have a video right, on so the internet So here's the next somewhere. thing. How do you interface with other things? So tap it again. Okay. 
No, more towards the back. It's like kind of how you hit your there turn. Now everything's on a timeline. You can swipe uh, uh, right to left, like forward ha. and backwards. <laughs> that was a funny tweet, Matt Mike. <laughs> uh uh No, go away. So it, away. It, it's a go timeline away. of everything that happens. Go so away. pictures, go tweets, away. emails. I'm Googling Mad Mike. Ha ha. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I want, if you I need to exit out, slide down is kind of like a cancel oh, or okay. back button. Okay. And then everything to the left is uh, Google Now cards. Uh, uh, two nothing Marlins. 30% battery. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in the... Now here's the fun thing. Go back to the settings. I wanna, we'll, we'll see if we can step you through this. I'm I'm in the I'm in the settings now. Okay, are you are you actually inside the settings? Yes. Go to device info. Uh huh. Tap on it to go into that. Uh huh. And go and read licenses. I'm, this is going to be completely exciting for everybody on video and audio. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Okay, now keep tapping and and the uh, it's going to just keep tapping. It's loading something, right? Yeah. Okay, wait for this. Say hello to a 360 degree picture. That's the craziest <laughs> crap I've ever seen in my life. The meet the team photo that Chachi showed me. When look down, you can see like where the camera was on a pivot. <laughs> That's <laughs> then... out of my face, Google. <laughs> so here's the thing. That's a secret. Nothing else released. Why is this a secret? I know, right? Why isn't this like the thing you can see in the demo? <laughs> this is awesome. When I was saying the take a picture needs to stitch a three hundred like, like yeah, like a double, like a double click of the button, and like a a click and then a hold, and you should do three sixty, <laughs> and then stitch it all together. And check out, they're There's behind a, you too. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing back there, people who are not in here? <laughs> What are you doing? I wish, like, can can the I want, this is gonna, I want the camera this is, to see this? Yeah, this is exactly why I'm getting a, I'm getting a tablet so we can show this off here in, in future episodes. And we'll have to load. You know, we'll, I like that Sergey Brin is on the floor in front of me, so I can <laughs> kick him in the face. He's right there. You can't see this. He's right there. I'm pointing directly at him, and when I look away, he's still there. So, what are your first impressions, uh, uh, generally, and 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 such? I would uh, buy three of them. I, I don't think I would. I don't think I would buy three of them. But I'm trying to like I've I've, I've talked about this with uh, with coworkers. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, my expense lady laughed at me <laughs> <laughs> when I said, "Can we expense it?" Um, by the way, this is uh, it's been a long time since we've had a loud episode of the Awesome Cast. Yes. Sorry. Um, so uh, I've. I've tried to come up with ways that I could use this at work. Mm -hmm. um, one of them would be to use the video recording capabilities to do a um, kind of like a point of, point of view uh, documentation type of thing. The problem is, is that that's done, like after I do the first one. Yeah. So I could probably find another camera to mount to my face for a little bit. Get a GoPro or something. Get a GoPro or something like that. Or a Instead funny of hat that will hold your iPhone. Um, if Bobby is in the chat room, and I don't know if he is or not, if he is. Yes. If Bobby's in the chat room, Bobby, do you remember Bob Cam and do you remember Bob's hat? <laughs> so Bob did uh, the Bob, live stream. Big Bob, big Bob, Bob of the ninety six one Kiss uh, free show here in Pittsburgh yeah. did uh, live streaming for like a solid eight months. Like like Justine did. Like Justine did. Yeah. And so he had a camera mounted to a pirate's hat on the brim and it was like a webcam that went to a backpack that had a like a really small laptop and an, a sprint yeah. air card yeah um and he basically live streamed all day um watching bob watch tv was possibly one of the funniest things ever because he's just a funny person anyways what did he live stream via how did you tap into his feed it was via zanga this is when Zanga was like <laughs> trying to go from live journal to uh, uh, being something different. Oh, it thought that it was on because I touched this panel back here. This is this like that. this panel right here is I don't the think one that's that right. Actually, there's a sensor by where your eye would be if you look there to the oh right here yeah right there. That's where oh, the I mean, supposed yeah, wink feature could be activated. 
That creeps me out. That somebody has already hacked, <clears throat> by the way? Yeah, that, that creeps me out. I don't want to wink at people and take their picture. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm a winker or anything like that, but... Hey, it's an interface, though, right? It is. My eyeball is an interface. I'm waiting for them to, like... <laughs> all right, now, if they put, like, a tiny camera in here, mm-hmm. what? how cool would this be? This is secured by my iris. So until I put it on, it doesn't turn on until it mm-hmm. scans my iris. That's, that's a good question, camera. is how do you lock that thing? Yeah, you can't lock this. No. I put it on my face. Now I'm sore. I could send text messages to people now. Okay, Glass. <laughs> send a message to uh mike uh no no, no. i don't want to say his name i don't think it's a problem uh i'll send it i'll send one to uh john chinchilla hey john i'm texting you from my face <laughs> send and then, oh it's an email sent email you should now have an email of a myth of an email from. It depends face. on what I have them set up with, and it won't do SMS unless I'm synced with a, an Android device. Oh, <laughs> it's crooked! It looks awesome. It's it's cool though. It's cool. I'm trying to. Oh, I, I got it. <laughs> I, John, I'm texting you from my face. Sent through glass. <laughs> Sent an email from my face. With and I've my been voice. doing that. I've actually been responding to emails like that too. How long will it dictate? Uh, I haven't hit a ceiling, but anything that I, I try is like, hey, period, or, or hey, that's cool, period, go ahead and do that thing, period. You know, I mean, the most oh, I've maybe man. done is three sentences. Three sentences. I, I get tired of saying period. <clears throat> I, no, so I saw a story that uh, uh, the UK and the US are trying to put penalties for wearing these while driving. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, West Virginia is working on it, but I really... That's because West Virginia doesn't know what the future is. Well, I don't think anybody at this thing. I think I think people that are trying to write these laws have not seen this thing. I've been, I've been <clears throat> wearing it for near four weeks now. I've been driving with this thing for near four weeks now. I do not see a problem with this thing other than the same kind of distractions you're going to get anywhere else. With the GPS. With the GPS, with anything else. Because, I mean, look at your... I mean, how, how I'm looking at the weather right now <laughs> at you. But if you have it set right, I have to look up. Like, I have to actively yeah. look up with my mm-hmm. eyes away from the road in order to see that. Yeah, so and for as me, as long as it's, you don't, as long as it's no different than you looking over and reaching for that radio, which you know what that timing is, it's safe, right? Right. It's the same kind of thing. Can you, the one thing I was thinking, can you set the tilt from away from 30 degrees? Yes. So if you let it go, let it go dormant. Right. So it turns itself off. So now off. do this. No, 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 right, no, no on, put it on. Put on. All right. Let it go dormant. Let it slide down so it goes away. Okay. Right. So now, is it off? Tilt your head up. Now tilt your head up. Oh. So it automatically comes on, but you have to hit a 30 degree tilt, yeah. which I didn't realize how steep 30 degrees and, was. 30 is, <laughs> this is like 60. <laughs> Apparently this is 30. Um, that is not. That but is no, not you can set it. You can go in there and set oh, you it. Can set the you, degree. Can say, okay. you can set you, the degree. You can tap on it, say set degree. You can move your head and it'll show the number, what degrees right. that is. The default's 30. I think I'm at 31 or something because I can't get it exactly again. So you can set that for whatever you want to do. So if you notice, I'll hear the chime whenever I get a tweet and I'll move my head up like this. <laughs> That's what's happening is I'm <clears throat> activating it. It'll activate the last thing that came in, which is the tweet or email or whatever it might be. Um, and then you go from there. Did you get any um, invitations for friend signups? No, that, 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 but they, apparently that was sent out to a very small subset okay. of people. Now, do so, you push certain people Twitter wise to here? Do you have notifications for certain people on your Twitter setup? Mm, I think most people don't. I do no. not. I already do because I have it set up that anybody I mark as I want to receive a notification of this person already comes as a text to my phone. So I'm always receiving that no matter how bad my uh, service is, right? Mm-hmm. Those same people will come through to that. Well, because I'm seeing like... Like, I'm pretty sure... I see the awesome cast account. I see Mikey. Yeah. Like the Mikey and Bob in there. You guys are in there. Family, friends, uh, guys from the shows. Uh, all are coming to my tweets. That's, or if you at reply, I think it pops up too. Um, so it won't like, grab your entire no, list. No, it will no, Right now, it does not give you the ability to do that. Um, just like you can only put in 10 contacts right now, but you can also, but they added this with the last update, you can also share things with circles. Like you can access okay. the rest of your contacts in G+, but via circles. 
and I'll tell you what the the coolest thing is, is how you set up the Wi-Fi networks on that. Have you seen that? No. I, uh, we can't set up one here. We, I mean, I could set no, it up. No, can't, no. We, yeah, but you can't. Well, I can show you, actually. You can show them I can there. show you how it is um, here. Uh, for the interface, if you're on, uh, sorry if you're on audio, you go to Google. I don't think I have anything that would be really bad in here. So you go in here, and this is the interface, AJ. Okay. This is how I interface with stuff, and it syncs up with that, like over the internet, right? And there's, there's my contacts. You can see everybody I have added in there. Here's the apps, and the stuff down here is, uh, you see this stuff has not been reviewed. So everything that's that's been reviewed, this stuff is already there, and you just turn them on and off, connect them with your accounts, right? Um, you have Evernote. There you go. There's your business case. There's my business there you case. Go. I need I'll, Evernote I'll, in my I'll face. Do, so you can. <laughs> well, all I'll do is send Ever, Evernote at this point. Uh, but if you go to Wi-Fi check networks, this check this out. So oh, mayhem. Say I think we're this. It's not going to matter right now. Uh, and I put in the password, and I generate a code. You go, you go into Wi-Fi there and say add network, it turns on the camera, you look at that, it just in, it just took in all that information for your Wi-Fi network. <laughs> That's awesome! Why don't we have that for many other things? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the problem, though, is apparently they've set up Glass that anytime it sees a uh, QR code, it will start interpreting that and reading it. And then you can inject malware in the QR code. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Good job, Google. Apparently, they've already they're going to. Fix they already patented. I thought they already patched it. Did they already patch yeah, it? Yeah, they already. It must be it. on the other end. I don't know. I didn't receive a patch or anything unless it's quietly happening because the update process is pretty massive when it happens. As I found out by accident when I almost crashed the thing. Um, I'm genuinely impressed by the hardware. Okay. Like this hardware is really nice. Now, now, it's supposed to be equivalent of, like, a mid-range Android phone. No, see, mid-range Android phones don't work this well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but how much is it really doing in comparison? <clears throat> you got to think. It's got that... It's, li- it's got a slimmed-down form of Android. It yeah. doesn't have to push all the graphics. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I haven't seen anything that's doing 3D other than that picture that you're doing. I'm uh, really interested in the Moto X. Okay. I'm really interested in it. I'm really sad that when they did the Moto X, um, that they didn't sell it unlocked like a Nexus 4. I'm really sad they didn't do that because for all from what everybody's saying, basically the Moto X is everything you could possibly need from an Android phone and it's stock out of the box. Mm-hmm. You don't have to buy a Google Play edition to get <clears throat> effectively the stock Mm-hmm. bits and all motorola has done is placed um like two apps one of them is assist which does like a kind of an ios in the car type of thing but it detects that you're driving and then automatically switches to a voice only interface oh wow well, and the other thing well then there's the uh the voice thing is is added right always on Always on voice, always but you could voice. you have to turn that on. It's not just constantly okay. listening but, to but, but the still, box. But still, I mean, that, that's an added application that they put in there. Yep. Um, and well, and that 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 whole technology is also based on an additional uh, DSP chip in the phone. Exactly. So it's hardware exactly. specific too. Okay. Yeah. So okay. they couldn't. They stole, they stole Google couldn't just that. slide that. And in. the other interesting thing they do do is the lock screen thing. Where have you seen this? Where if it's an active display, so mm-hmm. it uses the AMOLED display. Which does re- does really well with black and white. So, well, black it's not lit. Black it's not is not using, lit. It's not using. It doesn't any use power. So basically, a notification comes up in a part of your screen. It is only lighting that part. It's of the only screen. lighting those pixels. Well, you well, and when you phone, pull the phone out of your pocket, mm-hmm. it brings up the time. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't bring up anything. But else. But it doesn't bring up anything else. And it only it, the only battery power your display is using to display the time is the pixels in that section. Yeah, it's not powering the whole screen. Mm-hmm. What? And, but on the flip side too, it's a 720p display. Yeah. But the, everybody who's had the seven who, who's looked at it, like to Josh Topolsky from The Verge, who is a big screen nerd. Yeah. Said I sat it next to a Galaxy S4. Does it look like a lower res screen? Yep. Does it look like a lower res screen when it's not next to an S4? Absolutely not. <laughs> he said that screen is it's f- for what it is. It has the same pixel density as an iPhone 5. So there's no 
reason why it's not as good as an iPhone 5 mm -hmm. screen. That's the other thing is that the iPhone does a lot of software tricks um, when it comes to uh, screen display and text and graphics to make it look even better than the screen even is. Mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised that to get to the quality of screen, Samsung and other partners have had, and other Android partners have had to go to a higher res, an even higher res screen to match. Because mm -hmm. um, Apple even said to do Retina, we do a lot of software tricks, um, and it's really interesting to me. When they say that same thing about their camera, their their camera's a lot of software driven pieces yeah. versus being. I mean, they they do. I think their the camera chip is theirs too. But it's all handled through software. All right, guys, we got to wrap up. We're going a little long here, but that's okay. That's okay. okay. I'm, I'm glad AJ could join us. I made it. Yay. Yay. You're going to be sticking around for mayhem as well? I will. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so uh, with that, Achilla, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me. Hopefully, I'll be back next week. Hopefully. Uh, and uh, you can check out everything. Oh, hey. No, I did the same thing. Twitters and stuff. <laughs> Twitters and stuff, man. Uh, at Chilla. That's me. On the Twitters. At AJ Kuftik. And the Blue Teats. And the Blue Teats. At uh, mm. AJ Kuftik or at virtualpotholes.com. Yes. Follow me there. Uh, follow me on that account. Uh, I, I tweet about very nerdy things in data centers. Uh, I, I think I'm about to change the tagline of virtual potholes to I do cool stuff in loud rooms. Because <laughs> um, I do. I get to I hang out in a lot of loud rooms and... Um, my hearing probably suffers for it. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I'm over at uh, Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com. At Sorgatron.com, I've uh, been uh, blogging my glass findings yes. so far. Yes, and, and if you do, and stuff. if you want to hear, and this is a plug for Sorg, uh, if you want to know what Google Glass is really like on a day-to-day -day basis, go to Sorg's blog. Sorg, plug your blog. So, 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 I, did, I did. Well, Sorg, plug it again. Sorgatron.com. <laughs> There it is. Sorgatron.com. Including that great story Katie K did, did on Glass. Uh, Sorg was on me. TV. I was on the TV. Apparently, everybody back home saw it as I found out at the <laughs> wedding. So <laughs> That's awesome. I love when people are inadvertently known. <laughs> My Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was pretty interesting. Somebody came up to me who I hardly know. I presume I'm related to her. It says, everybody's talking about your class. They all saw the TV thing. And I was wearing <laughs> it because I was filming the wedding and I was using that. And that's actually what today's blog was about, about how I kind of used that in addition to my video. You know, this mm -hmm. idea. I am walking around with a camera on my face. And now, and I was telling Chilla this earlier, AJ, it's a pain for me to pull this out of my pocket to take a picture or check a tweet because I'm used to just looking up. Is it emasculating, a Sergey Brain? I don't know about this emasculating thing, uh, but you just feel like, you know, that idea where you're like, oh, I got to pull out my phone, you know. The problem I, is, is that this is constantly on your face. It's always there. It's, it's on always your face there. all the time. So this is going to be fun because very shortly I'm going to give it to Chachi for a week. And I'm going to say it's going to be like in Ghostbusters 2. I feel like I think did we talk about this last? Are week? Are you crossing it's streams? Be, no, 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 not that part. Where they gave the the puppy to the kid in the test room, and now we're going to take the puppy away and see what happens. Oh, only I'm doing we're it to myself. Take, we're taking the puppy away. We're taking the digital puppy away. Well, the the thing though is that I wish that this would just clip onto regular prescription Me too. lenses. Me too. And, and while and I'm I was sure there, they'll get to that. Point. While I was there, no, they are. They're testing. Right. Especially I, with my friends. I wish I had more questions because she was very open about glass questions. Because she was like, because I was having a lot of trouble, and she was like, "See that guy over there? He's testing the ones with them building the frames." Well, see, because you have you know. thinner frames than I do. See, I have. The oh, same that's. Frame. I have. Well, well, uh, we have thick. I can't have, do it. I have thick frames too. Hate them with that thing. Does not work at all. Yeah, it's not Does comfortable not with this on. And I actually just uh, shout out to uh, the uh, shameless plug to zenioptical.com. I just got a new pair of glasses Here's for the problem, $22. Though. I decided to start getting uh, Google Glass with my frames. Guess what I'm not doing is any optical properly. It'd be great if they're clip on, though. But you, I, you look at those things. I mean, the lenses that come with them. Like the sunglass lenses yeah. have a little cutout for them, but I really think in a year that's even going to get slimmer. Yeah, and because I mean, I, I mean, look at it. this is honestly this piece. This is just metal. This is just a frame. Well, if you business. look at it, and I'm not trying screw. to. Well, look at it, there's there is a screw, a screw in there, and I've seen somebody take off side. that piece. 
somewhere over here. Yeah, it, it, it's right on the inside, like right before it gets to the like no on the other side, right there, like right before it gets to the plastic, right, right here. There. So yeah. he unscrewed it, took little zip ties, and zip tied it to the to the to his glasses. That's kind of cool because this piece stops here, so this metal piece is just a band. Yep, that sits on your face. All it is but is for this, fitting. Yeah, because this piece comes here and does is this connected to this? It has because that's yes. a speaker. Right. And the, right. the camera shutters up there. And you notice that yeah. it's a little thicker there, right? Like it's it's setting on the inside of that rim. Yeah. So, all right. On that note, we're guys, done. We got to get out of here. We're going to go talk video games. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Again, awesomecast.com, Google Plus, Facebook, at awesomecast on Twitter. Please let us know your thoughts and stuff. Uh, what, what do you think's awesome during the week? We'll talk about it here. Just we talked about on uh, uh, Matt's thing on the arm crazy i'm gonna zap you thing uh thanks everybody uh sorgatronmedia.com for the episodes join us every uh tuesday live at live.sorgatronmedia.com or find us on justin.tv but uh that url is where we got this great chat room going on uh that's hopping all night and give us fun stuff and tweeting things to aj's face right now they, yeah tweet tweet sorg and uh it'll go to my face there you go there you go uh, and we'll leave that on actually uh, because we got. I don't think you're on the video game show, are you? If you if you want to be, I uh, uh, sure. Or if you want to play with that for the time being, we can just uh, let you do that. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, guys. Thanks to the awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs>